Uh, it's Elliot and Paul outside the Etihad, are you? Well, look, you know why we're here. Uh, Pep Guardiola's coming to the city! Yes! <laughs> Come on! Uh, we've had a bit of time to reflect on it now, and uh, Pellegrini's done his press conference. And uh, what do we make of it? Uh, well, but yeah, let's. I think it's good to talk about Pellegrini first because yeah. we need to say how graceful he's been and how he's been a great servant to the club and will continue to be until he yeah. leaves yeah, June yeah. the 30th. But yeah, really graceful. Um, made it out that he knows what the score is all along. Yeah. It feels like City have learnt from you were saying before about Mancini. That was a bit of a mess when. Yeah, uh, we all looked a bit. It all looked like it could have been a bit underhand with Mancini, maybe, or there was certainly. He alluded to that, but Pellegrini seems to be being very honest in his press conference. Like you say, they've been the club have been dead honest with him. He's known what's what's going on for quite a while, um, which is great, really, because it sort of it, it, it puts City fans on side with Pellegrini, which of course the club need because we're still in all competitions. Let's not forget. Oh, yeah. And um, you know, the, Pellegrini still needs the fans and the players to be on side as well. Yeah, definitely. Do you think, think the players have known for a while, or? I think they can't have not known. Um, yeah. I mean, the st- I don't want to focus on any negatives here. Or I'm going to bring one up now. But the stuff you know that Yaya Torre's agent came out with about um, Guardiola's style, and he could win it. Any you know anyone could win. His grandma could win uh, with Barcelona. Yeah. That suggested that he was making way. He, he knew something. Yeah. But I think the players. Yeah, they've, they've got to know. Uh, everybody knows about it. If me and you know about it, yeah. And the players are going to know. There's going to be chatter, isn't they? So I, I don't know if it was openly discussed but do, you, do you think that there's been it that, that, that they <laughs> just the fact that this has happened on transfer deadline day is just awesome it's been such a quiet transfer deadline day particularly for City no business going on at all really yeah. uh, but even across the rest of the Premier League it, it's it, you know it's been such a boring transfer deadline day until yeah. this yeah. announcement and then all of a sudden it was like hey yeah, yeah, certainly yeah. for City fans I, not for anybody else yeah, I think. I'd hate to be any other club for a variety of levels right now because A we've just got the best manager in the business yeah. and B we've just t- totally blown everyone else out of the water in terms of no, there's no other news today No, everybody pack up and go home this is the this news this is it like, <laughs> I'm going home after this I'm going to have a beer and that's it so you know what I mean We like this is the story of the day oh. and of the week and of the year you know. are, we, is, are we getting overexcited? Because be, no. there might be people watching this no, now thinking, not. oh, cool down a bit, man. No, we're not getting overexcited. I don't think so. He is the best. You know, Can he be, crack it in the Premier League? Look, this is what fans of certain other clubs, you know what I mean by that, uh, have said, right, he can't crack it in the Premier League. He's got no proven record in the Premier League. It's a different kettle of fish altogether. It's a tougher league. Can he hack it? Is he headstrong enough? He had to take a year out because he his head went a bit. Mm. Is the Premier League just going to pickle his head I think I, I think they're valid points in terms of you know um, he had to leave Barcelona because he was managing the best team possibly yeah. ever yeah. in football and then he left it but um, I think that was more to do with the politics and I think at City we don't have that sort of internal um, those problems really I think it's a well run club yeah. and um, so I think it was more to do with that he's got his mates here He's got a quality team waiting for him. He can bring a few more players in. Messi's, Messi. uh, Messi's on his way. Pack your bags, son. <laughs> I've just seen him on the big Pets wheel Pets up, near, up near Piccadilly. Yeah, everyone's saying this year coming out of Greg's with a steak bake. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's um, anything can happen now. You know, we're in we're in fantasy land, aren't we? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. You look at the trajectory of 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 managers since the since the money. Really, mm. let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, and now it's just moved not up. Alan Ball, then. We're, not, moved, oh, we're not including oh, Alan Ball in it, no. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so let's say for, from Sven onwards, mm. going up. It, when, you, when you look at the managers that we've had, and, the, and now, and now Pep's name on that list, it just yeah. looks unbelievable, yeah, doesn't it's it? Yeah, it's a trajectory, and it's gonna. You just expect uh, it's keep massive going, club, but, massive um, club. We are, we are a massive club now. <laughs> and um, you know, the, the thing is, I think you're right. We do need to keep our heads screwed on a little bit. It's hard to at the moment, yeah, but yeah. yeah, we've got to let him. You know, can't pile on too much pressure. As when he loses his first game, you know that the media are going to jump oh, yeah, down yeah, his yeah. throat. Yeah. Um, but you know, he's cool as a cucumber, isn't he? I think, and uh, I think he'll cope. Here's so, a question that me and Paul both have been asked loads this morning. What if Pellegrini wins us a lot of trophies this season? Fantastic, all the better. Um, and we were, and what we said in response to that when we were talking about it was when Guardiola took over at Bayern, that was the exact same situation there. Yeah. Uh, Heinkers or whatever, however you pronounce his name. Yeah. He won everything and then retired. 
So if Pellegrini does it, well, even better, you know, that would be yeah. a fabulous way to bow out. I think City, City fans like Pellegrini, I think, you know, they... they yeah. I think they, you know, he's, he's a funny guy, Pellegrini. He's very quiet. He, he's not got that much in the way of character. Would it be fair to say that, or is that a bit cruel? Um, I think he's just professional. Yeah. Would you say um, Guardiola, in terms of entertainment, is going to bring a lot more to the table, isn't he? Yeah. Um, because he is, you know, he's more, he's got, he's more of a sound bites person. Pellegrini, as Elliot knows from impersonating him when he called Arsenal. He's in Bodan. He's in Bodan. Yeah, in that's, Bodan. About, that's yeah. about it, really. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, I think it'll be a bit more, there'll be a bit more blood and passion and yeah, 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 and tears a bit, a bit more character in press conferences and things like that. Not that I mean, football's not about that really. And that's what I quite like about Pellegrini is that he doesn't play that game. That's what I've liked about Pellegrini yeah. is that the Mar it's particularly when Mourinho went back to Chelsea, he was playing all those games and stuff, and Pellegrini just kept his trap shut. He's and and, and uh, he's very happy. Yeah. Everybody's happy, as you can see. It's packed. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's less than all that. No, but brilliant news for uh, for City fans and brilliant news for for football, arguably as well. Well, some people will say, "Oh, City are ruining football again." But brilliant, good. I'm glad we are. If this ah. is ruining football, <laughs> let's ruin know, it. Yeah, every but that, surely that's amazing for the Premier League to have Pep Guardiola managing a managing a club in the Premier League itself is just amazing, isn't I, it? I think it says a lot about his qualities as a person as well I think he knows that you know Bayern you're expected to win the league uh, season in season out and he did that and he gets grief for winning everything yeah. because people say oh well anyone could win that in the Premier League I think he, this is the first chance I think he's proven himself Yeah. but this is all the doubters all the haters if he wins the league and you know takes City somewhere good in the Champions League then that will silence the critics permanently I mean, some people probably keep saying stuff but in, I think that'll really seal his, um, his status as a, as a legend, really. And just finally, do you think that City have deliberately made this announcement on transfer deadline day just to shake things up a bit? Or do you... Shake! Hey! Shake uh, things! Right, yeah, do you get it? Because of the shake. Yeah, good yeah, joke. I get it, I get it. Um, <laughs> now, do you think that, they, that they've known for a bit and they've thought, uh, or, or do you think something's leaked somewhere? And they've gone. Look, we're going to have to let it. We're going to have to let the news out now. Or do you think they've gone? No, nah, let's do it on transfer deadline day. I have no idea. It, what, I hope city, it's the latter. City trolling <laughs> fo the football world. I hope that. Uh, That'd yeah, be great. That'd be great. Uh, yeah, no idea. But it, you know, it was the worst kept secret in football. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I can think of another few. But they, they, no, it's like everyone knew that it was coming. Yeah. So I think it just might as well just clear the air. I think Pellegrini was probably the man who suggested it. So it seems like everyone's happy with it. Yeah. What do you think? Pep Guardiola at Manchester City sounds amazing. Just saying it sounds amazing. Comment below. It's Blooming Rising TV.